Yo, yo, check it. This is Duelist of Awesome. I'm doing a Cyber Dragon deck profile for the 2021 January uh, format. Alright, so for your first monster in a Cyber Dragon deck, you're going to want to obviously play three Cyber Dragon. That is the best synergy with the deck, and this is the card that your deck is based around. He's a special summon if your monster controls a, uh, a monster and you don't. So, if you're going second, he's a free summon. Now for the best card in your deck. Cyber Dragon Core. So Cyber Dragon Core is your searcher. He can search any cyber spell or trap from the deck. He also can banish himself from the graveyard if you control no monsters and special summon a Cyber Dragon from the deck. Uh, he's, he's really good. So you want to play three of him. He's also a Machine Dupe target and was the first one to ever be played with Machine Dupe. Speaking of Machine Dupe targets, we play three Cyber Dragon Hers. Cyber Dragon Hers has a really good effect where if he hits the graveyard, you can search any Cyber Dragon from the deck. So the only Cyber Dragon you can actually search is Cyber Dragon himself because he's the only Cyber Dragon monster in the deck that's treated as Cyber Dragon in the deck. But on the field and graveyard, all these cards will be uh, Cyber Dragons in the, on the field in the graveyard. That is also a Machine Dupe target, so he's really nice. So you're going to play three of that. I only play one Cyber Dragon Naxter. He is a Machine Dupe target. Uh, he has this effect where he can bring back from the graveyard a monster with 2100 attack or defense. So that's pretty good, but three of... You don't really need to maximize all of this card. I feel he's a little bit bricky, so I just play the one... And because Called by the Grave is only at one on the ban list, I play one Cyber Dragon Veer. He has treated a Cyber Dragon on the field and the graveyard. He special summons itself when you summon a Cyber Dragon. So, and it's immediate, so it's a chain link, which means it chain blocks Ash Blossom, which is pretty good. So if you summon Core, that summons out before you search off your Core. That being said, he will be out and you can no longer get ashed so that's really good that's it for the cyber dragon monsters now for the rest of the monsters three galaxy soldiers so this is a level, a level five light machine type monster so it's really good if this hits the field you can search another one from the deck to your hand along with this you can use this pitch um so you discard a light monster from your hand summon him special summon him and then you can search another one to your hand so what you can do is take hers discard that summon him you'll search a galaxy soldier and a cyber dragon from the deck off both their effects and you could just summon the other one off the other cyber dragon if you wanted to so he is a guaranteed nova infinity so that is really good and then for the last two support monsters i played two chaos dragon levy and near so this is a really good card you have dark and light monsters in this deck so with that being said you do this right you can bring him out special summon him by banishing light and dark uh three is a good number he has three thousand and he can destroy or uh banish or whatever the hell he does um you can remove cards from the field basically and it's really good he's he's really good board wipe and yeah he's a beat stick too he can't attack that turn though but Cyber Dragons has always got attack on the on the ready, so. Alright, so onto the spells. One of the best cards in a Cyber Dragon deck, period. Machine duplication. So machine duplication, you target a machine type monster with 500 or less attack, and you can special summon up to two monsters with the same name. So what you can do is use this on hers, Naxter, or Core. And bring out two Cyber Dragons from the deck. Two regular Cyber Dragons. And that is an instant nova infinity so this is a really good card now for the best spell in my opinion so this is a searcher as well and it has built-in protection this is cyber emergency this is really good so it can add one light machine type monster from the deck to the hand or a cyber dragon monster cyber dragon monster not cyber dragon so you can add any cyber dragon monster from the deck also if this card is negated you can unnegated per se it's it's pretty good i play the one cyber repair plane you don't really need more than that because you know you have emergency now 
Cyber Player Plant's really good. Then I play one Rev System. This is optional. You don't have to play this card. He's not really good. Or it's good, but it's not that good. It's a slight, slight extender, and only for your turn. It's a Monster Reborn for Cyber Dragon. So you can special summon a Cyber Dragon from the hand or graveyard, and it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So take it or leave it there. Next, we play two Overload Fusion. So Overload Fusion is really good. That's going to bring out your Rampage Dragon. Uh, usually I'd play one Overload and a Cyberload, but uh, I don't own a Cyberload, so, so we're playing two Overload. It's still just as good. You can search it off Verte Anaconda. It's real nice. Two of it in the deck's not hurting anybody. You have two Rampage Dragons in the extra deck. It's really good and very helpful. Next for the last spell, I play one Harpy's Feather Duster. This can be any card you want. Uh, it could be a driver, a Psyframe driver, uh, which we will get to that momentarily. So that's it for the spells. Next for the traps, the one Cyber Dragon trap is Cybernetic Overflow. This is really good. It depends on how many different levels of Cyber Dragons you have, which you have five, one, three... Uh, two, I think. it's You've got multiple different levels of Cyber Dragons, so this is really good. Off of the hand traps now. The best hand trap ever to exist. Three Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, so this card is really good. That's just basically your main hand trap. Obviously, you want to use that to stop searching, stop sending, all that good stuff. It's really good. Okay. I also opt to play three... Effect Veiler. This is a light monster, so you can pitch it off Galaxy Soldier. This stops monster effects. Um, it is a quick effect. He's pretty good. Uh, it's basically impermanence, but affordable. <laughs> so that has synergy with Chaos Dragon and Galaxy Soldier. Next, this is what I was going to get to about that driver. The three, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So if you take that Harpy's Feather Duster and make it a Cyframe Gear Driver, you get rid of these three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbits and make it a Cyframe Gear Gamma, all three of them. So you have the three Gamma and the one Driver. So that's usually what I would do, but I actually uh, gave those to my friend to use in his Dino Shadal deck. So we're opting to play these. They are light, light and they're still pretty decent. So, opting to play these is not a bad choice. These aren't exactly bad. Hand traps are actually pretty good. So, I play three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. And for the last of the main deck, of course, because I'm a baller G, I play three Infinite Impermanence. Um, this is just a really good hand trap. It's really good. You can activate it from the hand, uh, but you can also activate it just playing it on the field like a normal trap card. But it is very, very resourceful. All right, so that's it for the main deck. So I'm gonna scoop that over here. Now off for the the, uh, the side deck. For Cyber Dragons, you play one Cyber Dragon Seeker, so that's gonna double the attack of one monster with 2100 attack. Add another 2100. Given that this card has not attacked, so this is really good for OTKs. Um, I usually, when I'm playing the deck, I have this arrow pointing over to one of these two Chimera Tech Rampage Dragons. So this is going to be your OTK card. What happens here is he's got 2100 attack. You can bring him out with Overload Fusion by banishing, uh, you know, two Cyber Dragon monsters. So not just Cyber Dragon, either Cyber Dragon monsters. Then you can send two Light Monsters to the graveyard, and this can attack up to that many times, plus his initial attack. So he can attack three times with 2100 attack, which is, you know, like 60, you know, whatever. I'm bad at math. Um, but you can, you know, double that with Seeker. So this is your OTK card. This is the card that basically you bring out, you win second turn. Or your first turn. With that being said, for contact fusions, we also have a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, just in case your opponent has some machine monsters on his side of the field and you aren't having it, so you use them as fodder to bring out your own Fortress Dragon. Speaking of using your opponent's monsters, this is the best monster you could be using 
It's not Meta Rule 4, 4 anymore, it's Meta Rule 5 now, but people still use monsters in the extra zone, so you can take a monster from the extra zone plus a Cyber Dragon monster, or two monsters in the extra zone plus a Cyber Dragon monster, he'll gain 1200 attack for each. The only reason you really use this is because he can use monsters from the extra monster zone, like your opponent's monsters, so Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon is really good. I don't recommend playing three, you can if you want, but I definitely recommend playing more than one. Two is probably the perfect number in my opinion, you're not really going to use it more more than that hell you might not even use it during a duel so next for the xyz monsters for cyber dragons we play two cyber dragon nova so when you bring out a cyber dragon nova which is two level five monsters you can discard a material and bring a cyber dragon back from the graveyard so you can use two cyber dragons discard that cyber dragon bring the cyber dragon discard it right back and that's just an extra monster on the board so it's really good with Nova, you play the one Cyber Dragon Infinity, so you can just slap this card right on top of Nova. This negates effects. It can swallow up monsters on your opponent's field or your field. This is a really good card. People have a very hard time dealing with this card. Next for the non-Cyber Dragon cards, Union Carrier. This is just a really good machine monster, and it goes really, it really synergizes with the Cyber Dragon deck, so I really recommend playing that one. Salaman Great Almirage, so what you can do for your normal summon is if you summon hers, Naxter, Core, you can link into this and then that's usually going to co uh, combo off into your starters. You'll end up in Verte Anaconda with this. This is a really good card and I definitely, definitely recommend playing this on Cyber Dragon because it synergizes amazingly well. Along with that, because you have level 1s in the deck, we play the Relinquished Anima. So this is really good. He's basically just a relinquish and link form. He's there if you need him. Pretty good. Not necessary, but I, I like playing it. It's definitely helpful in a pinch, if you even get into a pinch, because you're playing Cyber Dragon, so you usually win like second turn. So um, Now this this is a very important card. Part of playing Verte and Anaconda, you, do, you only play one of this. You can play two if you want. Uh, I mean, go for it, but you're really only going to need the one, because all you got to do is get your Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon out, so you can link into him, discard, or you know send to the graveyard your overload fusion from the deck. This card gets that effect of that fusion card. So then what happens is you summon him, use the effect, bring out the Rampage Dragon using his effect, and boom, you have your OTK right there because of Verte Anaconda, because he searches your fusion. So that is really, really good. So I didn't know what to play after that, so I played the Boral Sword Dragon. This can be anything you want it to be. It could be a Link Karibo for all I care. It's a free space. I decided to play Boral Sword Dragon because I wanted to look like I have expensive cards. Uh, you know, just being real there. So this is really good. He can OTK on his own, but he's probably way harder to bring out than any of your other OTKs for Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragons is just so much more resourceful than Boral Sword because you need like four monsters to do that. But, you know, he's there. And then, of course, I play the last card, Dengirsu, the Orcus of the Evening Star. So he has 2100 defense, so he synergizes. He's also a machine with 2 level 8 being his requirement. Your Chimera Tech Dragon right here is a level 8. Along with that, the Chaos Dragon Levianeers are also level 8s. So if you can XZ summon into them, Dengirsu, the Orcus of the Evening Star, you can summon him. Along with that, he has some really good effects. He has one effect off summon and then two off of... Or no, he has two effects off summon of your choice. You can only pick one. And then he can also detach materials for really good effect too. But he has 2100 defense, which means you can bring him back off of Naxter. So that's really good. If you choose not to play the Drivers or the Gammas, what I recommend is playing Nibiru, the Primal Being. I only have the one copy, so I can't play three of them, but you want to play three of them. He's also a light, so he synergizes really well, and this just stops combo decks just almost completely. So I definitely recommend playing this too if you'd like. In fact, you can take out um, the Rev System, the Harpy's Feather Duster, and the Cyber Dragon Veer. Play three of these, and on top of the Gammas with the Snow Rabbits. So it's really good. That's the deck. I really recommend playing Cyber Dragons because if you want to win, you know, th th I mean, here's the deck, right? I mean, that. <laughs> there you go. What more do I have to say? Cyber Dragons, play it. All right, guys, this has been Duels of Awesome. I bid you guys farewell. I will talk to you guys later. And Duel Till Darkness, my friends. Peace out.